here in this video we are going to see a problem in which a body is being subjected to two mutually perpendicular stresses and for that here we have a question and this question belongs to principal stresses and planes so i'll write the data the principal stresses at a point in the section of a boiler shell are 120 megapascal and 30 megapascal both tensile so the first stress which is given we have to take it as stress in x direction that is sigma x as 120 megapascal so it is 120 newton per mm square and the second stress is 30 megapascal so it is sigma y 30 newton per mm square and since both are tensile so they are positive otherwise if any one would have been negative or both if they would have been negative then here we would have written negative sign but since it is tensile so they are positive now find normal stress second tangential stress and third resultant stress which is sigma suffix r across a plane inclined at 50 degree to 120 megapascal stress so theta is 50 degree and now with the data available let us try to get the solution to this problem in the solution part first we need to draw the diagram now this is the member which is given and it is subjected to stresses in two directions that is two mutually perpendicular directions they are sigma x and sigma y both are tensile so sigma x this is 120 newton per mm square sigma y it is 30 newton per mm square so perpendicular now so this is the part of the boiler shell which is given in the problem that this is a section or we can say a part of boiler shell given in the problem next we have to find out normal tangential and resultant stresses across a plane that is on the plane which is inclined at 50 degree to 120 megapascal stress so this is the 120 new newton per mm square stress and it is inclined to that at 50 degree so to this it is inclined means the face on which 120 newton per mm square is acting to that face the plane is inclined and this angle is 50 degree so here theta value is 50 and the next thing is we have to calculate the normal stress first then tangential then resultant so starting with the normal stress i'll write down the formula that since normal stress is given by now the formula is it is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 and into cos 2 theta so this is the formula to be used if we are having stresses in two mutually perpendicular directions this is the formula of normal stress so here i'll go on putting the values sigma x is 120 sigma y 30 divided by 2 and in this case since both the stresses are positive we are taking the positive sign next sigma x 120 minus sigma y 30 upon 2 cos 2 theta that is 2 into 50 degree so sigma n 
the normal stress value it comes out to be 67.18 newton per mm square so this is the first answer next we have to calculate tangential stress on this oblique plane therefore tangential stress is given by sigma suffix t is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into sin 2 theta so therefore sigma t is equal to sigma x 120 sigma y 30 divide by 2 2 into theta is 50 degree so therefore the tangential stress answer comes out to be 44.31 newton per mm square this is the second answer next after getting tangential stress we need to find out resultant stress so i can say that therefore resultant stress is given by sigma suffix r is equal to root of sigma n square plus sigma t square so therefore sigma suffix r is equal to root of sigma n that was 67.5 one eight square plus sigma t forty four point three one square so from this i'll get the answer of resultant stress it is eighty point four seven newton per mm square and this is the third answer so here in this question we were asked to calculate the values of normal tangential and resultant stresses across the inclined plane that is the oblique plane which was inclined so we have found out all the values starting with normal stress 67.18 newton per mm square then tangential stress 44.31 newton per mm square and at last resultant stress on the oblique plane and with this we complete the problem